It may sound like science fiction. Listen to this. Robots are soon expected to become members of society in one country. Japan is the country. It's dealing with a population crisis. And now the island nation is turning to incredibly realistic robots as a possible solution. <laughs> CBSN correspondent Adam Yamaguchi has been looking into this as part of a new CBSN series called On Assignment. He joins us live with the details. Hey, Adam, break it down for us. Give us kind of an overview of what we're going to see here. Yeah, it's you know it's it sounds crazy, um, but what Japan is ultimately looking to do is is to build a society that's not really unlike what you see in in Westworld that uh, that that show on HBO. If you're familiar with that, they want to create a society in which humans and humanoids live and work, play amongst one another. Um, the lines between what is a human and what is a humanoid are ultimately blurred. All because uh, they've got they've got to make up for this deficit in people. The the number of of people that Japan is slated to lose in the next 40, 50 years is is pretty staggering. This is the steepest population collapse in modern human history, and their solution, rather than uh, rather than let's say bringing in more people from from abroad, bringing in uh, loosening their immigration uh, protocols, is to build these robots. And could we ever see this? In America, I think we all want to know. Is it going to be? <laughs> Maybe we already have. have. They're so realistic. They may be walking right next to us, and we right. don't even know this, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what's what's interesting about what's happening in Japan is that you can you can you can look at some of the um, there are certain cultural norms that are that are in Japan that you don't see here, uh, where the people are a little bit more accepting of robots. Uh, this is a society that believes in in the term called animism, which is the belief that objects, inanimate objects, and, and real life uh, living, living uh, beings such as us um, are all kind of one and the same. They can look at inanimate objects like rocks and whatnot and say that this, this is imbued with a soul. And so it's, it's not that far of a stretch for them to look at robots in much the same way and treat them like humans. Here in the U.S., though, we, 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 we look at things very, very differently. So the, the odds of us seeing humanoid robots the way that you see in Japan is probably a little less likely. Yeah, not so much. But so interesting to, to get a glimpse at what's happening Absolutely. over there. I'm just happy I have my Roomba to clean up after me, yeah. Adam. Ditto. Thank you so much for that <laughs> report. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Can't and you can see, see Adam's full report on the premiere episode of CBSN on assignment, plus how ISIS leaders turned a generation of kids into potential killers. So very interesting. That's all Monday night at 10 p.m. right here on CBS4. Hmm.